old Mike, um, a couple, couple months ago, I called you up to go help me out, uh, pick up a topper. Um, picked up the topper, been riding around with it for a little bit, and kind of built it out for this weekend. Um, we're out here at the beautiful Pomona Lake. No Lake. And I just want to show you what I've done since I got the lake. So I'm just going to get it all on the show. Dog. I like how the I definitely like how the sides come up on this. I love that too. Um, it's one of the things that I really really liked about this one. What I want to eventually do is get some screens that go in here that you can like pull down and like put onto a uh, magnet. That's smart. In the cold weather, it's okay because not many bugs, but during the summer, I think it'd probably be a must-have. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But. Yeah, Jake and I put this together real quick. I mean, kind of like I was saying, we got a couple pieces of plywood. Just got two pieces of plywood, cut them to half of this length, and then what was left over it made these slides. So, literally two pieces of plywood, two two by fours, and a couple one by sixes. Easy peasy. Rookie mistake, I put my clothes on top of all of my air mattress and other supplies. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a pelican way out there. I have never seen a pelican in Kansas. What's up guys? So I'm gonna be setting up my pool. Hopefully catch maybe a catfish or something. And if we do catch it, I'll depending on the size of it, we might play it. But we will see. So what I'm running is it'll just be catfish hook. Um, we're going to run this weight up a little bit. Normally I don't use a bobber. Um, 
but this time I think I am. So we're gonna run the bobber pretty well. Hopefully we don't get caught on all these rocks up here. Now that the waterproof key. Ah oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Much better. Much better. That one felt that one felt good. Like I get the notification of like, hey, it's time to be real, and I'm like, ah. Uh, well, see, that's uh, the, what I've been noticing with it. It's like they're only be real when they're out going and doing stuff. Well, yeah, like, and that's not me. You know what I mean? Like, if you get the notification and you're just happen to be looking at your phone, <laughs> like I would say, seventy-five percent of the time, whenever I get the notification within the two-minute window. It's because I'm laying in my bed, like, after work, or right when I woke up, and I'm like, look, that's the, those are, like, the times that I look at my phone, you know what I mean? Throughout yeah. the day, not really too much. But, like, I don't feel like, 75% of the time, I don't I don't feel like people want to see me just laying in bed. You know what I mean? And I don't want people to see me laying in bed either. If somebody posts something, I'm laying in bed. Yeah, dude, like it just pops up in the morning. It just hits me at the wrong time. I take naps. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I take naps. That's just another thing that forces you to use your phone. I don't know. I like the calculator. Calculator is probably my favorite app on the phone. Calculator. Calculator. It works pretty good. You ever rock it? Yeah. Yeah, I love doing math on the calculator. Dude, math on the calculator is so much more fun than mental math. Yeah. Yeah. I'm adding binoculars to this. That's a good, good list thing. Binoculars need to be on the list. Binoculars are underrated. But every time I see somebody with binoculars, I'm like, hey man, let me, <laughs> when are you going to let me use that? Can I borrow those? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> What are we doing, Gus? Searching for wood. The easy way. <laughs> we went to a gas station to get wood, and they didn't have any wood. So we're doing it the entrepreneur way. <laughs> I have this hollow piece of wood right here. It's super hollow. Like you can hear how hollow it is. I think this is gonna be a great piece to get this thing going. So we're gonna, I think we're gonna set it down like this. We'll let it burn straight up. We kinda like a teepee, except this piece is gonna be the Inside. Um, so we'll take this. Just gonna shove it up there. That'll be good. I don't want this fire getting out of control at all. So I'm gonna make sure it's all controlled and contained in one area.
Oh, dude, that's going to be gnarly. <laughs> I, I stuffed it. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Are you lighting it right now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I gotta watch this. We got a chimney now. Chef Gus. Uh, it's mostly tonight. Tonight it is mostly dump things in a pot. We're doing lentils. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing crazy. <laughs> This has secret ingredient for everybody watching at home. These are lentils. Delicious. Think about this, meditate on this. Okay. When we come to the table, we shouldn't negotiate right away. We should spend time walking together, eating together, making acquaintance, telling each other about our own suffering without blame or condemnation. It takes maybe one, two, three weeks to do that. And if communication and understanding are possible, negotiation is easier. So, if I am to organize a peace negotiation, I will organize it that way, by eating together. Love of mine, someday you will die, but I'll be close. All right, can I 
I want to. I want to take a go at this bad boy. Yeah. Whoo, dude, that smells so good. So this was just like lentils. Lentils? Uh, yeah. Ground up. Uh, oh, I didn't sausage. grind it up. Yeah, a little sausage. Brown up a little sausage. Toss in a couple cans of tomato sauce. Or tomato, um, diced tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Dude, these green onions on top too. I'm I'm a big green onions fan. You kind of came through with the green onions tonight. I might, I might have to my cool off a little bit. I love that you brought habanero hot sauce. Dude, that's the best. That's the best stuff. Marie Sharps. Not a paid advertisement. Get yourself some. If you can find it. If it's, you can find it, it's yeah, it's good. Yeah. I, don't, I don't like it. I like. I like habanero sauce, mm -hmm. but like actually buying habaneros and cutting them up and cooking them into your meals is like death. Yeah, yeah. No, that can really take over a dish pretty quick. Mm -hmm. That is so good though. I mean, like my mom always made lentils growing up, um, but like when we were out in Oregon earlier this year, like in the early spring when it was still super cold. Yeah. Get back, get off of work, put on a big pot of lentils. You know, we had like five guys on our crew, four or five guys, and like just let it go. Yeah. Hang out in the kitchen while like the the steam like makes the kitchen all hot. You know, yeah. like it's thirty degrees outside. You got to get inside, cool down, or warm up actually. But like, yeah, this is one of my most favorite meals. I'm about to crunch up some of these chips. It's so good, and it's so hot too. Like with, with the weather finally getting a little cold, this is kind of nice. Dude, I've said it once. I'll say it a thousand times. I'm ready for it to get cold tonight. For the last solo camping trip I did, mm -hmm. it was the truck bed one, and I used my comforter, and it got pretty cold that night. Mm -hmm. And Callie was on top of the blanket when we first fell asleep. And when I woke up that morning, she was, like, underneath a blanket right up on my waist, <laughs> like, pushed up all the way up against me. Dude. I was like, whoa, yeah. how'd you get in there? You gotta get that warm. Good morning. Got a little cold last night, so we got Kelly all bundled up. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get up. Get some coffee and get ready to go. Good morning, campers. Got some delicious coffee from the homeland. Shout out mom and pa. The French press. Got the water going on. I'm about to be caffeinated. So this is how you do the French press, Mike. Got to bloom. Just got to get your grounds just a little bit wet. Let them soak in that moisture. Let them get that flavor. Then we'll top it off here in a second. In the meantime, we can do some dishes. Once you let your coffee bloom a little bit, it should look like that. Kind of soaked up. You can kind of see a little layer of oil on the top. A little bit of foam around the edges. Fill her up, wait another five minutes, and have a delicious cup of joe. That's good stuff. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We hope you really enjoyed this video. Uh, it was awesome getting to check out Gus's truck, the beginning stages of his camper. 
Uh, really excited to see what he does next with this. If you have any ideas for Gus for his next um, additions to his his truck camper, leave a comment below. Toss a comment in the comment section, and don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Hope y'all have a lovely, lovely fall. Stay warm out there. See you guys next time.